For your 11.1 to 11.3 quiz test, it will be a small test, we are covering matrices. So we need to know how to add and subtract matrices if matrices are equal, how to multiply, and how to find an inverse. So uh, first and foremost, let's check out if two matrices are equal. If two matrices are equal, we have two requirements that they must meet. First is the dimension, so let's check the dimension. This is a 2 by 2, and this one is a 2 by 2 as well, with some unperformed operations such as there's subtraction, there's some addition, and division as well. So, um, it meets the dimension requirements. However, every single element must also be identical. So let me go ahead and perform the operations on the second one. 8 divided by 2, that's 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 5 minus 2 is 3, and the one's going to remain the same. So are those two matrices identical? They are. They are, in fact, equal. They are equal. And if they weren't equal, you would tell me either elements do not match or the dimension is not the same. Let's move on to another type of problem. So it is very likely that I could give you a list of matrices at the top of your test and then give you one. Please find um, A plus B. All right, well, what I need to do is go ahead and write out A and B, and I need to add their elements together. All right, so that means in the top left, um, in order to add and subtract, I need to make sure that their dimensions are the same. So I can do that. All right, 0 plus 5. I'm showing all my work here. That is equal to 5. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 3 plus 7, 10. And 1 plus 2 gives me 3. All right, I could also... Um, give you something, for example, as 2 times BC, 2 BC. So that means I will have a 2 out here in front, and I need to multiply two matrices. 5, 3, 7, 2, and 1, 2, 0, 1. All right, so this means with multiplication, I need to scoop and pour. So I'm still going to, don't forget your two out here in front that I'll eventually need to distribute. You can distribute it into one of those and then multiply. However, I think it's easier to take care of that in the end. So you get 5 times 1 plus 3 times 0. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. All right. Um, and then you're going to get 5 times 2 plus 3 times 1. Then I go down a row. This gives me 7 times 1 plus 2 times 0. And 7 times 2 plus 2 times 1. All right, so I go ahead and I realize those ones are going to be zeros. So I get 5 plus 0. All right, that replaces that, 5. And then this gives me 10 and 3, 10 and 3. So that's 13, 7 in your bottom left. And 14 plus 2. 14 plus 2 is 16. All right, now I need to take the final step and distribute the 2. That's going to give me 10, 26, 14 and 32. And that is all you're going to have to do with that. Just be careful with the scooping and the pouring. Scoop and then pour. All right. You're also going to need to be able to find variables by setting up um, some equations. So we always add in uh, the corresponding parts. So in order to solve for x, I need 3x plus 2 equals 11, and I subtract 2 from both sides, 3x equals 9, x equals 3. And then I would do the same exact thing for y. Alright, however, um, y plus negative 2 equals 3, 
that means y minus 2 equals 3. y should equal 5. Let's do an additional matrix multiplication where the dimensions um, 3 by 2. This is a 3 by 2. So you go down, make an L. And this one is a 2 by 2. These don't have the same dimension, so um, I need to do my check. So 2 and 2, I can multiply them. So my new matrix is going to be a 3 by 2. All right, scoop and pour. This is for my top left. So 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1. And that is going to give me 0 plus 1, 1. All right, scoop and pour. 0 times negative 4 plus 1 times 5. All right, that should result with a 5. I move to my next row. 0 times negative 1 plus 2 times 1. That gives me 2. Negative 1 times negative 4 plus 2 times 5. So this is 4 and that is 10. It's 14. And last but certainly not least, 3 times 0 plus 1 times 0, 0. And 3 times negative 4 plus 0 times 5. That gives me negative 12. All right, and I did result with a 3 by 2, so that checks out. All right, the last concept in which we covered, here is matrix A. If I'm trying to find the inverse, um, I will ask you to find the inverse. If I need to find the inverse, you need to know this formula. AD minus BC, so 1 over AD minus BC. I flip my A and my D. You can kind of see, all right, the D and A, they work together. And minus your BC, so I need to make my B and C negative. I don't switch them out. I don't switch positions, but I do make them opposite. So that means out here in front, in order to get A inverse or the inverse matrix, I need to um, switch my A and my D. So I will get 3 and 5 negative 7 and negative 2 will become opposite. And then out here in front, I need to take A times D, which is 5 times 3, minus BC, 7 times 2. All right, so that should give me 15 minus 14, which that's just 1 over 1. 3, negative 7, negative 2, and 5. So since it's 1 over 1 out in front, I'm not really multiplying. If it did come out to something like 1 half, you would have to distribute that into every term. However, this one only comes out to 1 over 1, which is just 1. So your inverse matrix, A inverse, should be this. This is A inverse. And I will ask you to take A times A inverse. So 5, 3, 7, 2 and multiply those. If you multiply any matrix by its inverse, you should get out the identity. All right, so that means I should result in ones down the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. You should result in the identity. Now I will ask to see your work there. So I will ask to see five times three plus, uh, 7 times negative 2. I will ask to see that work. And this is you proving that that is in fact the inverse. Alright, if you have any questions, please see me early tomorrow morning.